Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another week of Wasia or Valorant. My name is Fred and with me in the casting booth tonight is Zohan. Zohan, how are we feeling today? It's a lot of fun. This is, uh, you know, it's going to be, I think it's going to be an exciting day of Valorant. It's mm -hmm. definitely going to be an exciting game, especially with these implications. Absolutely. We have the semi-finals ahead of us, the two teams going up against each other, Cedro Vuli versus Rogers. Now, a thing, a thing about uh, this team, right, Zohan, these, these two teams have faced off each other before. I believe this will be the third time that they're going up against each other. Game 1 was in the preseason with Rogers taking the victory 13 to 12. And the second uh, second time it was the other team, Cedro Woli, taking the win with a 13 to 9 victory. And like I said, Cedro Woli up until now in the season is undefeated. So, pretty close matchup coming right ahead of us. Definitely. I mean, it, we're, if we're looking at this, last spring, Cedra Woolley were, you know, arguably the third best team in the state in terms of high school Valorant. I mean, they placed third in the Wasia Championships in April. I believe I even casted one of their games at that championship. So it's a lot of fun to see them once again having that chance to go to this grand finals. This is, it, it, this is up in the air. I, I think if we're looking at these two games, the fact that we have an overtime victory for Rogers, and that was thirteen to twelve. And remember, that was in the that was in the preseason. Pre that doesn't that doesn't really tell me. Oh, this team is this is a Rogers that is ready to take on the championships. They still went three three in this regular season. The fact that it was a thirteen five, excuse me, it was a thirteen nine victory during the regular season for Cedra Woolley tells me they may be a little more prepared. They're going to be coming into this ready. Especially going on the Haven, a map that, quite frankly, is is kind of. I mean, I know you have. Uh, is that Haven as your background? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, hey, we both like Haven. So it's. I'm gonna be curious to see how the matchup goes, especially since obviously we're on a very very new me meta patch. Uh, if we see Chamber, I'm gonna be very surprised. I'll just say it now. <laughs> Yeah, it is going to be surprising considering all the nerfs that have been coming through for him side. I believe Cedro Woolley will be on the attacking side while Rogers will be on the defense. So what kind of, uh, so if not Chamber, then what kind of rosters are you expecting here? You know, honestly, uh, I, I think the meta that was shown in Champs uh, that was kind of slowly already going up, probably still going to be there. You know, you raise Jet. Uh, I think Jet is going to to go back as meta. Uh, depending on what kind of what kind of op situation you want to have. I think Chamber actually does work on Haven still. Even with that new TP setup, you can get away with, you know, peeking sewers with that operator. You can get away with peeking a weird angle on C and mid. Like, there's still a bunch of situations where Chamber could still work. Uh, but then going past that, I think double initiator is still very, very meta. Like, I, I think Fade goes down a lot. I think Fade got nerfed more than I expected her to. I still think Breach is still pretty good. For now, I'm expecting still to see Double Initiator. I, I just don't think, yeah, they're nerfed, but I think they nerfed them because of how strong each was individually. And then uh, Omen. I just, I don't really see Omen changing in this kind of setup. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, from what I'm expecting, I would love to see a breach brim combo on a map like this, be it on defense or offense. It is always helpful to have uh, these uh, two old people, old players, amazing players, amazing agents on the team as we're just about ready. Once again, Cedra Vuli will be on the attacking side and on a map like Haven, being on the attacking side is a bit of an advantage considering you have three opportunities or three options for, for a side take. Yeah, I mean Haven is actually arguably one of the one of the better defensive maps, but it's that's also at the highest level. That's with you know, <laughs> hey, you can just one shot most lobbies and be totally fine. So uh, I I shouldn't say that that should be an indicator. Uh, and already, okay, I need to I need to see where the actual picks are because right now this is this is a little a little funky. Seeing a raise and a jet and a sova hovered. 
Okay, yeah, or... I, I need to I need to see the actual composition first, because I'm not I'm not gonna listen to anything until we see until we see confirmation. I don't wanna ma be making some picks. Hey, you never know. They might just pick Harbor. They might just pick Viper. Okay, they keep scrolling. All right. On the other side, things are a bit calm. We got a Cypher. We got... Okay, we got two Cyphers. Wow. Yeah, you're right. It is very difficult to pick whoever's gonna... Uh, everybody seems to be in chaos right now. They don't have... To, they don't seem to have it planned out. They only have 15 seconds to do so. All right. We got one dude that's from the defensive side. We're followed with two Cyphers. Would love to Choose see that. Your agent. On a map like Haven. On the overall, on the other side. Yet, yeah, this is a double duel setup. Yeah, double duelist looks like it's going to be confirmed, especially. I mean, there's really no time to switch off this jet. So, all right. Uh, you have double duelist against double initiator, but arena as your as your duelist. And that's mm. just that's interesting because where's the movement? Where's the sight take from that? Still. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun game. Cyphers in this map, so I'm not gonna be complaining too much. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Cipher is a decent substitute for Chamber on the, at least on the offensive side here with uh, with the trip fires and everything. But as of right now, no Chamber yet. Like you said, it would be very surprising. And as it turns out, nobody wanted to bet on a Chamber. Here we go, first round, and it seems like Cedra Wooly might just be planning to take on C-Site. Looks like it, yeah, you have that C-Split already starting. I, I'm i going to be a little concerned, especially if Bio-Executioner keeps, keeps the spike and actually goes with Raze there into Garage, because you don't want to be, you don't want to be keeping spike with the, with the less team, with the team that has less. Uh, so, okay, it does look like it's actually just going to be that huge C, C hit all from long. Which, I mean, could work. Look, they already broke cam, so they could do anything here. Except walking forward, they know someone's going to be coming. Alright, it's five. Might just be opening the charge here. Looking to, look to find a little bit of damage see. here and there. I haven't found it yet. Here they go. Sprays down. There's two players who've already found two kills. Cedra Wooly down there. Last man. That is the brim. He's not going to survive for much longer. It's, it's vibes. Taking three in a row here in this first round. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was a play from Cedra Willie. That was, let's go just send it and see what happens. Uh, so Roger's currently not buying up completely. They they really should. Please just buy those Spectre Full Shields. Uh, we're starting to see more. Thank you. As uh, as I said, you always want to buy up here. Even though the Spectre did get nerfed a little bit, all you have to do, you just play back. You let them take sight a little more, and then you, boom, use the Spectre to buy everyone down. I like this setup. I like the fact that they're kind of playing retake on B, even with this Vade trying to just look around. Because, I mean, look, you have more blinding themselves, actually, so their that peak didn't even work out. Ooh, the flashes keep on coming in, but the lack of a gun is not going to do much for the mid frag. Does take him down. It's Rogers. we got four players over at A side. Cedra Woolly might just want to reconsider. A take here, all right, Trace coming in, left, right, and center, it's Vibes on the flank, finds another one, here we go, sight control not yet there, and Cedra Wooly will finally be able to make the rotation happen. Yeah, gonna be making the rotation happen, I think Vibes has, an, it ha has a feeling, and especially this is something I'm gonna highlight now, is remember, with these, with these Sentinel changes, only Cypher has cross map hold capabilities cypher can hold anywhere on the map and still use their util that confirmed that it see look how close everyone already is for this retake oh so this is good. just rain down fire on everybody he has found one you is gonna be taking another one cedra woolly down to their last two players so they have the spike down but this postman situation is getting extremely rough for them both of them in the same exact spot it's gonna be very hard all they need to put the smoke oh, down, huge, the DK has come huge. in, both of them are at one health, one enemy all he needs to do is push, he's found one, I guess he found the second one as well, it's Rogers taking round number two. Smokus Pocus single-handedly won them that retake, getting getting one there in taking out midfrag, getting so FS, I think very, very low, or no, taking out FS and getting midfrag really, really low, and then just throwing the perfect perfect grab there t taking in two players honestly i was a bit scared there flatter i don't know about you i thought they had actually were gonna lose that entirely 
Uh, <laughs> they were what the defense? The defense. I mean, they lost two no instantly. Shot. Like they well after you know after you lose two, it was Central Woolly having. They were actually up one. They were up a player. <laughs> it was so that was a bit scary. This should be attacking attacker sided right now. But it's vibe has such a great angle. Oh, but he doesn't get the initial shot off, and that's critical. Uniwale only losing barely any health. All right, Boya on the coast. We got three players over at B site, and Cedra Vuli are looking to make a rotation here again. And I really like that they don't fully commit to a site just early on. They are still considering their options, and Garage might just be the second one here. Did you see the rotation coming in? Here we go. Boya peeks out, almost gets taken down. Though smoke is focus here, and the window almost straights him out, but taken down by Kumhorn. Smoke is focus down. John Rogers it down to a four v five situation. Remember, Cedro Voli is the, in their gun round, so taking this one is absolutely essential. The spike goes down, and here we go. Post plan situation with John R. Rogers still on the retake. Having a nice retake. Oh, yeah. kind of a rough spot for there for Bio Executioner. Still, they're getting they're getting multiple players. A great headshot there by Golden PG is going to probably not result in a win here, but taking any players out, taking these guns out is going to be massive when it goes to this next round. When it goes to what should be, you know, a full gun buy from each player. That's massive. One. Losing two. Look, they get. They get the round, but they lost three players. None of those players are going to have at least a full buy. They can probably still maybe buy up, but yeah. Look at this mid frag, not even having a shield. Yeah, a great, great round there by John, uh, John R. Rogers. They knew they had to just take down the economy. They did a phenomenal job at it. Now be in a 3v5 situation with two of the members here on, on Sidra Woolley's side on Stingers and Famas, which is not that bad of a pick considering if you are just playing the flanks or or the support. So far, Sidra Woolley not in too much trouble. However, they are looking to create some trouble here at mid as we see all of the players heading in towards B side. Yeah, they're gonna go towards B. That's an interesting play because it, it's starting, if they keep doing that, it's gonna be a little telegraphed where they poke B and then they rotate off. And I think those these rotations might become a detriment for them. They've been doing it every single round. They go for a site, then they rotate off and then they hide. I think if they're doing a rotation with this, maybe a little bit of a hiding, but what? You just say stay there race just stay there make them think you're not and that you get a trade but you're still down one oh golden pg almost he's your trade one out he does finds mid frag's head for a v2 here for cedra Voli as they have now decided to commit towards a side fully Uniwale, spike in hand, decides to go out for the peak, they're getting flashed again and again, once by the rain and now by the omen, and it seems like they might have to reconsider yeah. saving here in this round, Uniwale, they know their position, left. all he needs is one peak outside and he's been going to be taken down by one Executioner, and it swipes on the flank, he's taken one, can he take the second one, it seems like he can, yes he does, 3-1, to one. John or Rogers have taken their fourth round. Yeah, and it's vibes doing an incredible job. 7-1 with three assists. That is, <laughs> you have more assists, that you have more kills than uh, Cedra Woolley has round wins. And that's that that's this critical. Next one, Cedra Woolley, little economy to their name. So, oh, I was muted. <laughs> great round, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think I was muted. Oh, I was muted for you, but then, they, oh, it's, oh, that's confusing. It's fine. No, I, this is a good round for them. I think this could be a good round for Cedra Woolley, only because eco rounds I've noticed, especially at the high school level, tend to just mess up players. They tend to make mistakes on the defending side. Well, I mean, hopefully they don't hear because an eco round, eco round loss is absolutely really tough for uh, losing side here. Let's see Cedra Woolley now all out push towards the side. We got three pairs. Over from John R. Rogers with the side, Combo Horn with nade in hand, could do some damage with it. You see the side rotating out, he finds one, Combo Horn with an absolute mad lad, he has already found two, Smoke Spook, Spoke is Spoke is there to make the trade happen. Still very much live, the other comes out, the has been done though, 
The economy has been changed, but Comohorn has found three. John R. Rogers down to their last two players. Is this why he's pushing remaining. in? He's gonna find one, the battle in hand. If you make no mistake, he finds the second one as well. But what a phenomenal round coming in from Comohorn. He's found three and an eco round there, but Zohan and the economy should be hit. You doubted my 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 decision of it's the eco round. They're gonna do something with this. And you were downing it, and look what happened. The, a 3k coming out, and it had to be its vibe to really clutch out again with a 3k. And I mean, that's kind of what, how that's, this game has been going. The story is, I think Cedro really are doing fine, but then you have its vibes to just completely clutch it out. And I mean, that's, you know, when you have that clutch factor, it makes it so much harder to do anything. Obviously, you can have the best set plays in the world, but if you have a player that can just go boom, 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 you just, you're never gonna win. Okay, come on once again. He's the master of the eco weapons. This time with the judge, he's taking the B side completely to himself. The nade is gonna push out even them even further. Central Wooly side control, nobody to contest them yet. This seems like a good round for them. Seems like a good round, and oh yeah, especially with that, they need to not be they need to not be trying to t take Ooh, sight from hey. one side while smoke's on the other. They should be waiting back. They should be holding. But yeah, they've already lost two. I think this has to just be a save round. So a second for Cedra Willie. But, you know, you still have to... And I mean, this is basically as perfect as you can get. It is flawless so far. Oh, they're just going for it. It's Vibes makes a critical oh mistake there. And yeah, that is... That's the round. Uh, even you getting two... <laughs> That's the mistake you, you need to have happen, but, you know, still, they get their second. I, I just don't TP in when when you think people are there. Just don't do it. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough play, a bit of a risky play. They're trying to trying to take down the economy, which is already very tough over on the center of Wooly side. They have assault rifles all the way to go for, but the money could be an issue in the later rounds of this first half so on our rogers still up by two so feeling pretty good about themselves a bit of a push towards a side might just be expected here let's see what they do with it get out of my way i mean this is the right setup though i i don't necessarily agree with having both initiators on one site since you kind of lose the ability to to get a lot of information but a great great trailblazer is going to I know that they were shooting the wall to try to like get a wall bang, but that <laughs> kind of confused me for a second. This is ooh, okay. So I've noticed this has been the the very risky play. Kum here just kind Kum tries to like get into risky angles, and it works out this time. Look, they get one. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get two. They get what was that flick? Oh, we might just get three. Watch out. Get three. Oh, he does get three. Oh. That was okay, uh, uh that's not supposed to be questionable dash. No, they had it already queued, so they just oh, they were just using it, I think. Uh reviewing position. Alright, we got smoke to focus here on heaven. It's not gonna be there for much longer, but Cedarwoolly once again, you know, they have side control. They uh, it's, uh, the, the the offense has absolutely blocked every single path going their way. Here we go, smoke is supposed to focus first one to push. He's trying to close out all the angles, finds KO, but doesn't spot him completely. Executioner takes him down. It's Uniwale who makes the last man a bit bite the dust. Cedra Wooly, they have now been they're now trailing by one, and this game has got a lot more closer. Yeah, definitely a lot closer. They need to punish that the the lurk. That's been that is kind of what's getting them back into this. And I mean, look when you when you hit headshots like that, can't I'm not gonna be too too worried about it. They thought they were gonna be they're picking off each other's contact, and it was just cold and PG, just a little too too aggressive as its vibes was holding back, trying to take a further back duel. But now they're going into the C site, which I think you and its vibes has. Never mind. They just keep hitting headshots like that. 
A uh, pretty questionable peek, even on your cipher. I mean, you have the camera to go for you. If the, if it if it has already been destroyed, then I mean, you know, to not peek. Unfortunately for them, they end up doing it. Golden PG, watch out for the nade. He's down to 50 now. Here, will have to be pushed all the way back. And no more flashes, no more leaders for him. Smoke is focused on the Noah, taken down by Como, and this man's timing has been impeccable. Couldn't find the second. It's Great Boya headshot. Who takes his head off? Yeah, and that's probably just gonna be the same. I think, honestly, just pick up the rifle, go save it. Uh, e Golden PG, I think, even trying to call that out, they're just like, hey, let's just let's just pick it up, let's save it here. And ooh, making a lot of noise though, and especially just not not having that timing there. And yep, that's not that's gonna be the uh, the ending there. Oh, oh, I thought they died to the nade for a second. Uh, holding on out for a little while longer before being taken down by that phantom. Here we go, 44. Cedro Uli have brought it right back. And this has gotten very close, Zohan. It's, it's 4 to 4 now. You know, we were talking about in pre-production that usually all of these high school games are very one-sided, but I am loving this right now. It's 4 to 4. Both of these teams have a lot of money to work with, so these are going to be a lot many competitive rounds coming our way. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely seems, I mean, from what we've seen with the story between these two teams, the story of the overall season, you know, Cedric Woolley in this regular season, very consistent, has has the capability of always clutching something out. But Rogers just, you, you know, overall, I think maybe having Cage that Cage. innate Cage. clutch factor, which you know always have, but when it happens, it's just an absolute incredible stomp. And, Look at this read from its vibes. Jumps down, sadly, doesn't get the double there. Oh, Combo Horn could have found two, but he doesn't. Sid Ravuli still up a man. It's Univale with the blazing fire in his hand. Could bring down the Aldazen when he needs to. The reveal goes out as well. John R. Rogers are looking to make this retake happen let's see if they're able to fulfill this proposition it's you on the push here might just find bio executioner down to seven health but has done a good job oh my god SFS, i'm so sorry golden pg has taken down two is john R. rogers on the retake in this 2v3 what a round yeah and that's exactly <laughs> i talked about that clutch factor the innate ability to clutch it out and look i think cedra woolly very consistent they have really good side takes i don't necessarily think they have the best composition but it doesn't matter when they're playing as a team they're going together they're trading things out but when you have its vibes when you have golden pg now able to get these three k's and clutch rounds out it doesn't matter what kind of composition you have what kind of strat you have if they're able to clutch it out and honestly it's i, I am going to be a bit worried about central Woolley. they seem to be liking b and c a lot and we've already starting to notice this look at this look at how many players are towards b and c there's only a single one a and he's not gonna be living for much longer here come on for it it's taken down come on takes him down with the other we got two other players another one taken down by bio executioner zidra woolly john r rogers in a 4v3 here the dust has settled here we go into this post plan situation all of the players stacked towards c site Nobody looking for that C main peak. Smoke is focused has taken down one, trading him out. Not yet. Midfrag takes down its wife. Here's Uniwill. The ult still very much alive in his hand. Could be going for the last kill here, which he does. Five to five is the scoreline. Cedro Woolley. They just won't let them go away with this lead. Yeah, no, and that's exactly like this is <laughs> what is this game? This is a game of its vibes and comb. Uh, and it's just, I, I I don't know where I'm gonna call it. I, I don't know. I think overall, I think Cedric Woolley may be getting the better momentum now. Obviously they've been, they've won the last four out of five rounds. So that should be, that should be an indicator. I'm not gonna be surprised though if Roger starts reading these plays. Look, they're defaulting here. But that still means, look, they're going B or C. Like, they're they're not set up for an A hit right now. No. 
Absolutely uh. not in that lane. He's gonna do a lot more damage. Focus, focus doesn't read it well. Combo Horns game since has been at the top of the market. And if he finds another one, that is huge for Citra Woolly. Here's you, Sai Sheriff in hand, looking to do some damage. Doesn't do it. Bio Executioner takes him down. Golden PG now on the flank towards the flank of Combo Horn. However, it doesn't matter. The spike is looking to go down anytime soon combo horn here he is taking down another he's gonna check his flank almost remaining. takes down golden pg which he does that is to 3k for combo horn he's been an absolute menace here on the lurks yeah no these lurks have been absolutely I, I, i'm not gonna say even critical it just seems they haven't been punishing them at all and so look these bomb plants excuse me I'm talking about the wrong game these spike plants have been so so massive and I have to say, Boya might be the, the bottom frag of this team, but they their Last sheriff shots are on point, as I think three of them have been from sheriffs. And to be honest, if any of the, uh, if any of the pattern is ready to go by, it this should be John Ro John R. Rogers or win for this last round here in this half. But else, all the way through for both of the sides, we see the mid VC mid frag here on the offense, just one point away from having that blade storm. So this will be an alt fill round. We'll find out how it comes to fruition. It might just be in a post plant A situation, which Cedro Woolley is ready to. Ha make happen but it seems like they're having a bit of fun here aren't they they should we didn't spot them we did not spot them they, they can absolutely break down fire here they have no idea where, where they are it's vibes finds the lurker this time around so john r rogers already off to a great start yeah but look at this they know look they they had a feeling they know if they have a lurker at mid it's going to be an a hit and i mean ray's getting a shot anyway so this bomb might be able to be get planted but everyone's gonna be there for this retake. It's going to be up to how they have to, how are they able to hold against a team? It's equal number, actually, excuse me, it's not equal numbers. They were able to get two in them, as I was thinking. Uh, find you. Never mind. I think Central will have it. Taking retaking with less than, than your teammates is, uh, than the other team's hard. Uh, or when that happens, it seems like it seems like that is executioner already takes down focus focus. Here's you pushing the charge, the one util that he had already being used, and no finds nobody not so far. By executioner on the operator, not sure what the plan there was. Skumon takes down another SPS there at the end, takes his head off with the sheriff. It's Cedra Wooly 7 to 5 here in this first half. That's uh, that's what you call a nutty play. I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I was trying to make something funny, but no, it's, uh, yeah, that's, A is already, already hard to retake, and it's kind of, it, it's, it's a hard thing to say as like a, as a coach or a caster. You know, at the, I think at the highest level, if you have two on a site, it's hard to take that site because those players are usually good for, you know, good for one, one piece or even more since it's defensive. Uh, but at this level, you know, it's, do you play retake? do you try to get to uh and it's it becomes such just a happenstance of of a situation that you just you Double just have to hope that you do it well and now we have rogers on attack two are going to be on a but a huge huge knife there going to get i think everyone and I think the right play might just be to hold on, back up, wait for your team to push in with you. Here for Cedra Woolley, that seems like the right idea in mind. Mid frag, there, is he, there he is on the defense, but dinks him and then takes him, takes you down. Cedra Woolley up in a man advantage here. Boya is speaking out the same angle. Mid frag is a little too good. And it seems like the name makes sense. He does. They, uh, they're, they're mid fragging. <laughs> they're fragging in mid. I'm just kidding. Golden PG. Oh, somehow gets away with it, but doesn't. They're not taking it. They they're just going to be on two HP. That might have just hey. lost in the round. <laughs> I believe he's still. You know what? He's too confident. We got. He got this. Fight. He's gonna want to be two. Just watch it happen. Okay. It's it, it's Golden PG. Two health to his name. Default hiding spot. He's a little too impatient with it. All right. He has to heal down. SPS beats him out, takes his head off, and I believe, uh, I guess it would not have mattered if he took the heal or not. I mean, it, it could have, is, uh, if SPS didn't get that headshot, that could have been a, a loss, but <laughs> that was a risk and a half. Two HP, 
and a dream and almost clutch. I mean, honestly, though, think about though. They heal. They could have held. They could have held a, a maybe a better angle with yeah with its vibes. They could have. They could have had a crossfire. They could have both been watching. They could have been watching Garage, or they could have had PG. You know, maybe hold on Jenny, hold back of Jenny, so then they could check CT, or they could check Garage. And I think being at two HP just forced them into that spot, and that's what forced them. I think overall to Sergio Woolley going three ahead. Yeah, here in the second half, Sergio Woolley half started to take the lead, but now we are in. The we are in the second round. Let's find out if Cedra will really have what it takes to stop this push coming in from Donna Rogers here. It seems like they do. They have already been pushed back in the rotation. Might just be an idea so far. Coomhorn did put in some damage, but taking down the last 50 health will be taken out back. It's mid frag here. Arkin Sheriff in hand. Could find one. Doesn't find the first shot accuracy taken down by that frenzy. Smoke is focused. Finds that garage kill and they're pushing in towards the side here. Even getting a even getting a plan down might just be the way to go for this team. Yeah, and I think they might be actually rotating towards B, but this could have gone wrong. They're they're fast walking. Look, they're running straight into a massive crossfire, but it stingers. Esmus couldn't even get a kill because it was a stinger, but they are able to get it out with Bio Executioner. They're trying to do these flash shots, but look at this. While we're talking, they're running towards A, and they're getting the hits. This could be Rogers' second round victory. This could be their way to come back in this game. And the plant's gonna just go down. It's an easy plant. And it should be an easy post plant situation here as well. Frenzy's in hand. All you need to do is rain down fire. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty easy. Cedra Woolley here on this defensive side is gonna be very difficult to make something happen. Could be going for the save, but with the Spectres, I believe that is not the answer. Peaks a little too hard there. Kumorn taken down, and it's five follows with another six to eight. And John R. Rogers are not letting Cedra Woolley tip away with these round wins. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> this is not the, the this is the kind of, you know, when you think of the stereotypical storyline, you think, oh, you know, whoever wins pistol wins the second round, then it's the, the third, and then, you know, sometimes you do well, but this, uh, what's going on now is Rogers won, won four basically in the first five, and then Cedric Woolley kind of cleared it out from there, except for, for one. But now it's Cedric Wooling winning this pistol. You should you should know that you have to step back further if you see the knife. But, all yeah. right, uh, just that that's that's kind of small. But I don't like this default. This is a very risky default they're doing because they they've done flanks themselves and they should know how easy it would be to flank. Look, they don't even, they don't have any trips at all. Like, they don't have a single one. Yeah, we do see John R. Rogers being spread out here at mid. They're considering all options and going for a map control play here might just be the right idea. Finally pushing in towards the A side. We got two more waiting for everybody to push in. Might just rain fire with the, sh with the shorty in hand. Hasn't been able to do much and probably isn't going to be surviving for much longer. Golden PG takes him down. We got SFS and Yuri will pushing in, but they're not going to survive for much longer either. It's Golden PG raining down fire with the Sheriff and the Spectre there, etc. Wooly with their last man alive. Bio Executioner up at Haven, Shorty in hand. You goes for the peak, gets flashed, eliminated from Bio Executioner. John R. Rogers still up by three players, by two players rather. And it seems like even if the round win is going to them, it has been a bit of a costly one. A little costly. I mean, this is this has been a weird buy overall, but it's going to be their their seventh. This game's going to be very close. Uh, and remember, it's still best. This is nerf stinger. Just just nerf the stinger, or not? You, you just nerf it. <laughs> what was that? Why why do you get vandal headshots with the stinger? Like this is should not be allowed. Uh, <laughs> Blooming for a shot accuracy, might I add? I just yeah, that's like. I, I, I use the stinger and I get like one every like eight times I use it and then I see other people use the stinger and they're like they're jing using a vandal and I'm like okay <laughs> whatever uh but yeah no I mean this is this could be this could be the equalizer but 
you know, uh, there's going to be full guns for Sedra Wooly, and I like their defensive setup. I, I like moving Sage towards B, because I think this wall cutting off B could work a lot better. They're running so much, fight. though. I'm. It's starting to get to the point where I think Sedra Wooly should be able to hear it. To a point where, I mean, you have to realize that John R. Rogers, right, they are going, they are looking for so many options, but, and it seems like in the chaos, they're confusing themselves as to where they want to go. However, finally, the push comes in from Garage. We got the Cypher leading the charge here. He's going to be finding an empty side. Gomorn on the flank. He's taken down one, but it's why it's taken down the second time around. Mid frag here. Will find Smoke is supposed to neck. Never mind. Know exactly He's going to be alive for a little while longer. Rest best. We're in the smoke, rained down by Cypher, use <laughs> gonna be surviving too much longer. SFS rains down fire on both sides, he's taken down two, we're gonna take a third one up and mid frag there for the play and the second one as well. Cedro Wooly as the dust sells, they have taken that two round lead. We got this. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> that was that was Love a bit chaos. chaotic, but uh, I I am gonna comment on this. Is is I did mention this is why I was a little worried, I think two rounds ago when you hadn't set up any trips for flank and look they got flanked from both sides and then because they had one flank they're like oh it's any other flank has to be from a then they get flanked from c and mid frag clutched out that round they got three uh you have to you have to be more careful of your flanks mid frag exposing half i think just a pixel of their body so that was a little risky there, and oh, not even getting any shots off, down to one HP basically. Yeah, we'll have to play. We'll have to be playing on this retake here. Cedro Vuli up by two rounds, but that might that lead might just be cut in half here because I'm uh, because I'm feeling pretty good about this take by John R. Rogers. This post man situation extremely beneficial for them. Not going to be easy to make this retake happen. Let's find out if they're able to do so by execution. They have found one. It's Vibes takes down another with the trade coming in from him. It's Vibes. Here he is. Smoke is focused in the smoke. Staying true to his name. He's found two. He's found one. Not yet the other. It's Vibes. Could not get the spike down. It's Espes with the Phantom in the classic. He's found three in total right now. The fire has been raining down. Cool <laughs> Okay, you know what? Golden PG, I'm really sorry for what happened to you there. The Dispis has just walks right into him and gets stabbed <laughs> in the back and it's Cedra Wooly taking three rounds in a row. That was uh Oh that was rough. It's vibe if we if you looked, it's vibes that TP'd on top and then held the spike the entire time. That could have been I think that played into Cedra Wooly's hands so much because they were just able to do whatever they wanted. They could just wait, they could poke through and its vibes had to literally jump down plant and died almost, not necessarily immediately afterwards, but within the, the next five seconds. Wait, why does SOS still have that stinger? I do like that classic though. I have that classic. So? Hmm. Seems like we have lost Sohan for a bit, but as soon as he oh, comes you comes back... You never lost me! Here. What? You haven't lost me at all. I've been here the whole time. Ah, that's weird. Yeah. I think I lost you. Well, we'll never find out. Spike we'll plan. never find out. Oh, oh, they do get the plan, but... Oh, what? They didn't even clear sight? They have to shoot this oh. down. They have to shoot it down now. Oh no, the knife can down. Okay, the knife does do, does do a little damage. The Milan comes in with the spray. Boy, oh, I'm so sorry of that about that sheriff play here. That is so sad. That sheriff could have done so much damage to the Cedroli side, but the first, but the first bullet accuracy wasn't there, and the follow up wasn't as a good either. It's Cedroli on the retake, and that is a huge win for them here in this round. Yeah, that is. If if Cedra Wooly really win this one, well, no, actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, they there's enough money that even if they, e even if they win this, Rogers could buy up. But I, I don't think you want to go to match point even with a full buy. So they have to they have to do something now. And I think this is where it's really showing. This is why you don't want to run Arena. What does Arena offer here? Because look, Arena's lurking. And the rest of your team has to basically move this exact same exact way. Sure, its vibes could could TP, but you, you don't want to do that. You want your duelist to be safe. 
Medfrag holding a different angle than they have, and oh, what no. could have been a great peek. Spike down mid. Doesn't turn out to be Kumorn being a little aggressive. Uh, shoots nobody. The waste of the ult there. Uh, it should I not matter exactly though, as you takes him down, finally rests him in peace, it's set for Vuli, 3v4, it's Uniway, the Arsil in hand, could be going for this one right here, does he go for it, yes he does, hasn't found anybody yet, but they have the spike control and that's all they need here to take this round. Yeah, oh and I like this play, yeah, just res, oh, res no. the teammate, uh, don't get shot though, wait what, oh, and with that, it's an easy res, they know where they are, res comes out, it's a 2v1. I mean, we've seen worse, though. Honestly. Yeah, we've seen crazy, crazy things happen here. But in a 1v2 like this, John R. Rogers, this left. round win and being absolutely essential. Otherwise, Cedro Woolley is heading into the match point. Remember, this is the semifinals. The winner of this game will be heading into the grand finals, securing that sweet <laughs> spot. In that top two position, John R. Rogers, not a lot of time left, 12 seconds, you gotta get the spike left. down, Golden PG, here he is over at A side, the rotation comes in from Cedra Vuli and this post plan situation is what it's all about here for Golden PG, what does he do, he has two layers to work with, even as the ult in his hand doesn't get spotted immediately, could just be making sure that he doesn't get spotted with the ult. Uniway is going to be the first one to push, has the stim, but it doesn't work out in his favor. Golden PG has spotted out the last man, and the spray is good enough to give this 8th round victory to John R. Rogers. Yeah, I mean, I... Not too much to say there for Rogers, Central Woolley. Probably could have gone together. Honestly, I would have just said go together. Don't, don't try to split up where you're going, because you just... You have the, the the numbers advantage. Why try to cut off angles when you can just trade? You know, you can clear each other's corners. You can make sure that your back's covered. And that was just kind of giving Golden PG the, the 1v1s. And that's always going to be the wrong situation to be in, to be completely honest. And I like Roger slowing this down. I think this this worked out better for them. I, I mean, honestly, it, it almost didn't. But I like when they slow it down and when they're watching all these angles. But look at this. They're already compressing so tightly. They're already trying to choreograph where they're going. And I mean, it has it has been pretty interesting to see what John and Rogers pulled off in these early rounds. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, it's all the it's all the boss plan situations where they have struggled the most. So if they can get a lot of kills here at the start of this round while taking side, that would be a little better for them. I believe Kumhorn has been spotted. The alarm bot does go out. Kumhorn doesn't survive. No, he doesn't. Golden PG takes him down, and Cedro Wooly. It is gonna be a four v five here, and John and Rogers they already decided to make this rotate happen even. After that kill, here they go. Seaside completely there for the taking. While well, Cedro will make this walk towards Seaside. Yeah, I, I, they just don't even seem to have a clue right now. I think they are starting to get a little bit of an indication, and yeah, that the call has been made to to rotate over. It's going to be a hard retake. Uh, it's it's a full team against. I mean, I, I would still be okay with this. You you have flashes, you have the jet, but you have to make the right call. I like that smoke. They cut off sight, so now Long is going to be covered, so it's a 4v4. Can they get the right duels? Nice. Oh. Bio Executioner has found two, and oh my god, it's Wyvern. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we were spectating you at that point. Don't worry, nobody gets to it. No, nobody is clipping that one. Cedra Vuli taken down by the last man. John R. Rogers. 9 to 11 is the scoreline. They have taken two rounds in a win here, in a row here, and this cannot get any better than this. I mean, I think it, it could be better if it was uh, 13 out right now. Uh, I think there, it could always be better. But yeah, the fact that it's... I mean, it's, in terms of the comeback. It comes in terms of the comeback, but they, they need to do more. Uh, I like that what Cedra Woolley is doing right now. They're, they're saving up. They're buying as much as they can. And I like that they have to... I, I kind of like the eco round. I like the save rounds. Because, I mean, we've seen so many incredible things happen from them. But with this A hit, look at this. They are waiting for another B and sight take. C or B or C take. And it's just it's just slow again. So they're rotate they're over rotating already. They get they get two. And look at this. They already just leave C. But actually, no, it might work out. Cypher tripped it. So 
So you might not even be a thing in their mind. It might just not, but look at John R. Rogers here. Completely opposite direction. They're split, and their team completely split up here. We see three of them uh, going towards the side, and uh, two of the players just holding on out in front of a looking, looking to gather uh, some information. And uh, you know, as as uh, said Ravuli, they have, you have to be confused as to figure uh, figuring out where everybody's headed. Kumhorn isn't confused spike though. He knows where to push with a singer in hand. He's found the spike. And their call comes in as well. It's gonna be Cedro Bully on this side on the spike control. But look at that, boy! In focus, focus. They've taken down two. Cedro Bully losing their advantage just like left. that. Yeah, maybe a bit of a mistake there. Ooh, okay, they hear they hear the A hit, and that wall doesn't really do much. Uh, so I guess it does block them. Never mind. Uh, I would not have expected that. Ooh, this blind is going to make. Espez in yeah, such a risky angle, but they get two already! It's a 2v2! One enemy oh, remaining. The spike Black. does go down here, Zohan. It's focused, focused, just found another one, Cedro Vuli. In a 1v1 place here with, with no health to either of the players, but Cedro Vuli in a bit of a disadvantage. One shot from any weapon more than enough to take him down. Smokers, Smokers realizes that he's gonna be playing in this post plan situation very efficiently. Wouldn't want to be going for these early peaks. After all, it's Univail, no util to work with what does he do does he take his team to match point or is it gonna be smokers focus taking him down into the ground here we'll find out soon enough smokers focus is pushing in univail has no idea what's coming to him and john r rogers there's only one round away from tying it all up this is gonna be the round that they have to, i mean obviously they have to win but this is the the very important round because look at this if they if they lose, they don't have that much money. Uh, even even with winning out three in a row, it's vibes. I think might be the only player who can win out here, uh, who can fully buy. Obviously, you know you can you can do light shields and blah 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 blah. But you have to win. You ha this is a, 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 a an important round to say the least. Cedric Woolley on full buy on a full buy is is a very scary team. So, ugh. I'm trying to think how how I want to call this. How where would I tell my players to go? It looks like it's gonna be this this once again this slow, weirdly compressed mid play like default, but maybe towards A this time. So a little bit of a difference. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be a split towards B side here. We could see two other players pressing towards Garage, you know, keep the keep the defense guessing, but it seems like A side might just be their way to go here. John R. Rogers, you know, Golden PG, the first one leading the charge here, pushing in through A short. I haven't seen this man use his ult, uh, surprisingly, and that has oh, been the name of the game here. As fast. Oh. Actually, if he did not take that wall down, probably could have gotten the kill there, but, it, you know, the panic steps in, and the call comes in as well. He spots one, and now two players over at A side. Light, bit of a glitch there. Almost felt like he was throwing away the uh, throwing away that race bot. But all right, Cedro Wooly have control of a side here, and John R. Rogers are looking to make this rotation happen towards C. Thirty seconds left. Yeah, definitely with that ping. I don't want this over rotation. Could just go back. Okay, that and that knife is going to tell them something, and ooh, not breaking the haunt. So they're gonna have to dash out to save themselves. But actually, they're gonna be be, be a little bit aggressive. They get one. Do they get two? Oh, this is so close. Oh, they were blinded! Oh, John R. Rogers. No more Last man alive, and it's gonna be Cedro Vuli taking him down. Golden PG still was not on Match the ult, point. I believe, and this is very surprising. My man, when do you plan to use that ult of yours? But alright, over on the John R. Rogers side, this round should be there for the taking. We got four ults. If I mean, just uh, excluding this, excluding the sky here. Everybody has else to work with. Else to work with. We got two guardians, one vandal, and I believe another guardian to go for. I'm really surprised as to John R. Rogers not using any of their abilities, not not using any of their alts, and this might just be their one final opportunity to do so. Smokers, focus might just be the one leading the charge here with that fade alt in hand. It's gonna be John R. Rogers pressing towards a side. Yeah, they're taking a risk here. What they're trying to do, they're trying to get in that post plant, hoping to take the defenders on A, and then trying to just hold them back, do as much as they can. Something to note, there's no hey, trip immediately fear. on flank. It's through this beat. Oh, so they're going to use this, but this could get enough time for people to rotate out. 
And SFS already gets oh. one. They get three! Down a. Cool, Warren. Alarm pod and the raise is working perfectly. Spikes there they on go. side flatter. Down. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be extremely hard for Sean Rogers. I, I mean, I might just go on to say that this might but just be GG's. For a 40 health to his name. He's not going to survive for much longer. Golden PG, last man's arriving. The flank comes in from mid-frag. And that last frag is going to be the crowning victory for Cedro Vuli. 13 to 10. They take their place in the grand finals. They do, and they, uh, they hold their undefeated status through this season. Uh, you know, even even with what seemed what such to be almost the comeback, almost the the plays from Rogers, just the consistency from Cedric Woolley mm -hmm. is what really clutched them out. The ability for each player to have you know kind of a clutch moment, and I think that's the critical thing is the team. The t when you have teams who who both can clutch, it's the team who has more clutch, and uh, you know whatever, <laughs> however you want to have that gauge. But you know, at the end of the day. It was Cedro Woolley and I think a deserved spot in the finals. Absolutely a deserved spot, but a really well played by John R. Rogers there in the later rounds of the second half. I mean, they did almost start with the comeback. It was 10 to 11 being the scoreline, only a one round away from tying it all up. But that is not how the cookie, cookie crumble, but that is not the reality that we live in, Zohan. It is going to be Cedro Woolley securing their spot in the grand finals. The other semi finals still yet to be played, so we're not yet sure about their opponents heading into the grand finals. But we, what we're sure of, is going to be the grand finals. Is next week same time around wednesday so uh i mean the the schedule is out you guys know it better than, than we do cast your memory but this was with sia once again thank you to washington army national guard for making this league possible wouldn't be here without you zuhan thank you for this wonderful cast always a pleasure thank you to kyle and taylor in production for making the stream happen but this was with sia and we will be signing off